I'm alive! Despite what my Halloween costume looks like. Hey guys, it's Adam E.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf. We are back in Gooston at long last, by popular demand, and for a very good reason, we have a big update on the way to talk about. But first, I kind of just wanted to walk around town and, you know, see the devastating effects of the mayor's two-year absence. It has been two years to the day since I last recorded this game, but we are back, and a big part of that is you guys out there. I wanted to thank everyone watching who reached out to me and let me know you wanted to see more New Leaf. That is the main reason we are back, not just this new update on the way, but also because there's a lot of stuff I can still do in this game in the vanilla version, we have a home to fully upgrade. There's a new business that still needs to move in on Main Street. I have the museum to complete. And then on top of that, there is ooh, a bunch of bells for me to get. There's also a ton of events in the fall, winter, and spring that we have not seen yet. And I haven't witnessed for myself. So that is another, you know, all the more reason to keep playing. But I want to talk about that new update. So. On November 2nd, we're gonna have more info on this. Right now, details are still pretty limited. We're gonna have an Animal Crossing Direct pretty soon here, and that will detail more about this, but it's called Welcome Amiibo, and the idea is that this update is gonna add in a big campsite. Most likely, it's gonna be up near the Happy Home Academy area. I can't imagine I'm wanting to plop it down in the middle of the town, because it's not like the, uh, the campsite you can build with the Public Works Project. It's a campsite that's more of like an RV park. And there, you can go and talk to Wisp. Wisp is returning to the series, the little ghost guy. And he will let you scan in any amiibo you might have, including any of the hundreds of amiibo cards that you might have for Animal Crossing. And the idea is, I was gonna hit that rock, but we already got that jackpot. The idea is that if you scan in one of those little cards, which are pretty cheap, you can get whatever villager is on that to visit. You can play a game with them and most likely get them to move into your town. So it's an easy way, rather than having to visit the campsite here constantly, it's an easy way to get whatever villager you want inside your village. So that's, that's a nice little addition. And then on top of that, they're gonna release a new series of amiibo cards that have villagers that are from older versions of the game, like some of them going all the way back to the N64 and uh, GameCube version of Animal Crossing, as well as I've seen some uh, some videos out there from Hello Kitty themed villagers. I don't know if that's going to make its way to the West, but they have unique items that you can get from them and get out of their houses and everything. You can just, you know, swipe them when they're not looking or probably more likely bargain with them and, and play games to get that stuff. And then on top of that, we also have a bunch of stuff that we can scan in that's not even Animal Crossing related. They haven't shown much of them, but there's other amiibo, including the Squid Sisters were the big ones they showed. If you scan them in, there's gonna be weird little Squid Sister villagers that you can get to visit your town and potentially move in, I think. At the very least, it looks like you can get Splatoon-themed items. And one of the reasons there is because the, uh, the Animal Crossing developers <laughs> Forgot about Clown School over here. The Animal Crossing developers and the Splatoon developers have a lot of crossover. The Splatoon developers used to work on Animal Crossing, so I think part of the reason is they're uh, they're trying to cross promote and do stuff like that. So I'm guessing a bunch of other Nintendo amiibo figures are gonna be able to give you unique items and things as well. And maybe we'll get like a weird Mario villager moving in or something. We'll have to see. Now, the, uh, the other side of that, too, is that the Animal Crossing figure, like Amiibo, will be scannable as well. So who knows? That would be really cool to have Tom Nook actually like, have a house in your village. We'll have to see. I don't know if they would do that, but it's possible because you are going to be able to scan them. Maybe they'll just give you a, you know, a unique item, like Tom Nook will give you his sweater or something. So you can look like an old, old retired real estate mogul as well. So anyways, yeah, that is going to be on the way. It looks like it's going to be released a bit earlier in Japan and possibly Europe, but it will be out on the 2nd of December, a month after that direct in the U.S. and, you know, Western territory. So we are just going to keep playing through that and, you know, get get to know that update and see what's all what that's all about and everything. And, and also, I'm still aiming to complete the rest of the stuff I have to do in the vanilla version of the game. So 
that that update is a good reason to get back into it but the main thing I want to do is complete the content here in this game before we move on to the next Animal Crossing which will most likely be on the Nintendo Switch we'll have to see about that but it's been a long time coming I, I kind of was thinking they were just gonna release a new Animal Crossing before I was gonna jump into it again but Little did I know, they're putting out an update. I want to take this mask off and just see what I look like under here. Ah! Oh no, I still have the red hair from when I went to Brofina's birthday party as a clown. Maybe we should go get a haircut to start things out here. And then we'll reacquaint ourselves with all the villagers in the village and see if I can remember their voices. Hi there, sugar. Welcome to Shampoodle. All right, so we're going to sit down in the chair. And let me see, I think I, I, I pulled up the uh, the way to get the hairstyle that I want. I'm gonna go with a more tidy hairstyle, I think. We're gonna do a, uh, a better color as well that is more true to me in real life. There we go, cut color and style. Not too, not too much money considering how much I'm carrying around. I need to go and try to try to get my house expanded, but at the same time we have a public works project that has been sitting there for several years now, unfinished. I think the villagers have probably donated a little bit, but I think it's like half a million bells or something that we're gonna have to eventually donate if we wanna see that Moai head down by the beach. That was the last one that we started. Okay, so we want to say that we have a clean room, but it's also a natural is best. A natural room? No, I think she asks about, yeah, are we, we wanna have our hair nice? or natural look, and that's what I'm going for. And then to pick the color, it is gonna be slightly less than the darkest possible hair color, because I have kind of a dirty blonde, dark brown color. We'll go for natural as well. Natural all the way. And here we go, hopefully this works out. If not, next episode, we will try again. I'm feeling good about it, all right. Here we go. This looks like a weird sci-fi movie with a spaceman having a machine just <laughs> do weird stuff to his brain. There we go. Oh no, I got the weird butt hair. <laughs> that wasn't the hairstyle I wanted. I wanted a, oh, I should have, I was supposed to say, I like uh, to style my hair rather than natural. I looked at the wrong one. I was glancing at it out of the corner of my eye. Okay, well for now we'll look like a little, a little uh, rich kid. <laughs> we do have 120,000 bells in our pocket, so that makes sense. I'm actually not even going to stare at that hair. I'm gonna put my ghost mask back on. We are Space Ghost, if you didn't guess that. This was the Halloween costume that I decided on two years ago. And I, you know, I have a bunch of masks and things ready for that event. That is gonna be the next episode. We will have the Halloween event, and hopefully I'll get some cool, spooky stuff to put in my house. All right, the Mantis is like, stay away from that bulletin board. <laughs> Breaking news, there's a, a very fine queen in the, in the uh, TNT Emporium. Let's actually check that out before we go around to the villagers and make sure there's nothing worth buying here. Hopefully not, because I have so much stuff in my house. I need to uh, reorganize or maybe invite a new villager to move in, a new human to store some of my stuff because my, my wardrobe is jam-packed. Welcome, welcome, come on in. And we also, oh yeah, we need to keep buying this fertilizer, I think, because we, we still have to get that gold shovel Let's see here, that's a happy fertilizer. The price is, um, ah, yes, 1,600 bells, are you gonna buy it? Yep, I need to get a bunch of this if we're gonna get that golden shovel, is what I heard, at least. My memory might be failing me. Let's grab some candy as well, because I've got a bunch of it, but probably can't have too much of it for Halloween to give out to the little villagers here. I have to give them extra, because they're like, what have you been doing? You'd think I would have been dethroned from the, uh, the mayor position, or, you know, Somebody else would have been re-elected, but Isabel did mind the shop while I was gone. Nan, what is she, what is she doing here? She was, uh, she was a guest star in a very spooky side series, which I'd like to continue as well. There's a, uh, ooh, we don't have this, do we? I might grab it just to, just to have it in the old catalog, a spooky lamp. It's taller than I am. I don't like the looks of that. All right, and then uh, there's the fine queen to the side there that he was talking about. Is this a cabin? What is this? A cabin bookcase. I don't think I have that cataloged either. I've been collecting a lot of these sets over the years, and the cabin one's one of the ones that I actually do really like. Let's see if Gracie has anything on sale. I think she had some cool witch stuff and things, but again, I'm gonna have to jog my memory after so long. Look at that delicious looking bed. 
A lot of this stuff is cool, but it's so, so expensive. I'm not gonna bother. Sorry, Gracie. Sneaking out without her being able to give me her sales pitch. Okay, so let's head back into town. I fixed my hair for the most part. We got a few little souvenirs. I have to face my villagers and make it up to them after being gone for so long. Excuse me, little guy. Thank you for visiting, come again. Okay, now another thing, I have to try to remember the voices for all these guys. <laughs> Mira's here as well. This is like a blast from the past where we have a lot of, uh, a lot of villagers that have moved out long ago, still hanging around. And speaking of which, there weren't too many weeds that I noticed in the town and it looks like we still have all of our villagers. We've got nine. And I'm pretty sure I still had a spot open last time we played. So let's see if we can find some of them. Is Ribot home? Ribot is the one that I'm dreading the most because he has a very strange voice that I don't particularly enjoy doing, but you know, it's for you guys. Okay, so let me, oh yeah, we also need to get the mail. They probably have so much mail. Let me grab my slingshot here, even though this is, you know, most likely something for the clown school that we don't really need, but we'll knock this down. There we go. Oh, that's a, isn't that a, a silver slingshot probably, right? That's what happens when there's the two balloons. Yeah, it is, okay. Well, we didn't really need that, but I grabbed it. Another one for the pile. <laughs> Most of the people that play long enough, I think, will have a huge pile of slingshots and clown furniture that they'll never really use. But yeah, this is the normal campsite here, and you only get the one villager, whereas the new system seems to be just a way for people that play the game and have those cards, which are super cheap, to be able to get whatever villager they want. And I think that's a nice little addition and lets you choose who you want. Hey, Graham, our little smug villager. How you doing, buddy? What? Aren't you Adam? The one who left Ghostin two years ago to find yourself? <laughs> it looks like you have no more worries left in the world. Also looks like you're dead. Let's mark the start of the new you here in Ghostin, Adam. Okay, so Graham's glad to have me back. He's, uh, he's going fishing or something. Yeah, they don't really bug you too much in this game. They used to really guilt trip you in the older titles and make you feel bad for leaving for so long. But in this one, they'll just, you know, talk to you and say, hey, where have you been? And then after that, they're going to act like business as usual and just be friendly and, and do all the things you want them to do and not be nagging you about leaving the town for too long. <gasps> oh, no. Do we have any medicine? Because Coco is looking rather sick. She's creepy as it is, but... Coco, oh no. <clears throat> Adam. <laughs> she had like a whispered voice, but I might make it a little spookier for the Halloween times. Why, it, it is you, isn't it, Adam? Where have you been? I was afraid you just disappeared on us. It got pretty lonely without you. Never leave. You are an indispensable part of Goostin. Let's catch up soon. Aw, maybe let, let's go grab some medicine before we finish out. I'm gonna hit up the rest of the houses as well, but I wanna make sure Coco isn't sick for what should be her favorite time of the year. Also, Red is visiting, so maybe we could go buy some bad art. All right, is, uh, Cranston's not home. It's all coming back to me. It hasn't been that long, and a lot of these memories are so deep-seated now. There he is, he's walking around next to Pinky, who I'm not gonna talk to because we're still trying to get her to leave, I think. She's like a duplicate personality. Ah, nice to meet you. You must be related to Chap, right? You two look awfully alike. I guess it's not its not too crazy that he doesn't recognize me with this hat on. What? It is you, Chap. Oh, that's why I thought you looked familiar. Long time no see. I'm glad you came back, Mayor. I can't wait to see how you'll be improving, Goostin. Well, I am spending half a million bells on a very self-indulgent Moai head, but, you know, that's par for the course for an Animal Crossing mare. Okay, I think I saw Poppy walking around near my house and Muffy. We kind of ran into some of these people earlier, so they, they should still be roving around. It looks like they're all really getting into the fall spirit of bug catching and fishing and stuff. Ooh, <gasps> this is the villager that a lot of us love to hate. Behind the tree, it's Brofina. I must be dreaming, Dumpling. Is it really you? I hardly recognize you. Welcome back to Goostin. How long has it been? Like two years? I can't believe it. Let's catch up. First of all, Goostin is boring without you. Cluck yeah. <laughs> so it's been a while since, uh, since Brofina has seen us, but she's not being mean or anything. She's definitely 
still glad to have us back. Maybe we could go into the goose, the, uh, not the goose. <laughs> That's what it should be called in Goostin. The Roost. And we could do a little bit of, uh, of coffee serving. I do have my little list, my cheat sheet that I wrote down. This is the oldest piece of paper probably in my entire office. But it's, uh, it's got all the different coffee recipes and stuff for the villagers. Hi, Adam. Cool to see you. All right. I can't remember if he had a, uh, a very brute, you know, or he was just like, how can, how can I help you? Because he's very, he's, uh, he's very, very reserved Brewster here. All right, uh, you have to make the coffee exactly as the customer asks. Cool. Okay, so let's try this. And uh, they still have not made a, a f amiibo figure of Brewster. I would love that one. There are a handful of them, and I do have those, so I'm glad to be able to use them in the update. The usual, Adam. So Muffy's here. And what is her usual? I don't know if I even know, because she is a newer villager, and I don't think I have it written down anywhere. Oh no, I even know what KK Slider and Isabel like more than I know what Muffy enjoys. So let's just, you know, maybe she she's a kind of a dark little sheep. Maybe she'd like a mocha with uh, sh she doesn't seem that sweet at all. So we'll give it to her black and then, oh wait, yeah, just none at all. We'll try none at all for both of those and we'll see if she dislikes black mocha coffee. Most likely not. It's very unprofessional of the mayor to be wearing his ghost hood. Ah, coffee time. So she has kind of a, you know, she's got a morose speaking pattern, I remember. This is great. It's exactly what I was looking for. I didn't know you had it in you, but thanks a ton. Did we really guess that? I don't have it down here at all. Okay. I was just going off her personality, or what I think her personality should be. Okay. Brofina, we definitely, okay, we've got her in here. Hey there, Dumplin', I'll have the usual. So we should have, I think it was three sugars, lots of, uh, lots of cream or milk, and a blend. So lots, and then three. So yeah, I have all of her stuff down, luckily. She's been living here since the very beginning, I believe. And then even, you know, thinking back, I think Graham and a bunch of them have moved in not long. And most of our villagers have been here from the start, except for Coco, Muffy, and Poppy. Thank you. Now let's see how your barista skills are coming along. So she loves it, yes. Mmm, it's delicious. Smooth, but with plenty of bold character. I love it. Brewster himself couldn't have done any better. Great job, I'll be back for more soon. And then Brewster, I think, has the like shocked expe expression off camera. If you look, oh my god, it, is this? It's not a costume, it's Hazel. A little squirrel with a big unibrow. <laughs> Coffee, please, and hold the milk. Aww. She's kind of cute in a way. So, uh, oh no. Maybe, maybe they'd like a blend. No milk, which I think usually translates to no sugar if they're a basic villager. If they're one of those guests, you know, the, the special ones like Isabel and KK Slider, I think they tend to have a, they'll mix it up on you. But we'll see if I guess the right type of coffee. Ah, coffee time. Mmm. <laughs> and, wow, this is fantastic. It's just what I wanted. Oh, nice. They said the Cafe in Goostin was different, and they weren't kidding. Thanks, I'll be back. Aww. Well, I got really lucky, okay. So I think we completed all of those perfectly then, thanks to some good luck. Oh no, Gracie's here as well. How many customers do we have? And I don't think Gracie is one that we have ever served before. We've served T Tortimer, Captain, all these people. Just a cup of coffee, honey. Make it to go, chop, chop. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, I really don't want to disappoint Gracie but I have no idea what she likes. How about, she seems like she'd go for a Kilimanjaro for some reason. And then I'll put a regular amount of milk and uh, one spoonful of sugar. All right, man, I thought I was gonna have a perfect record here, but unfortunately, <laughs> I doubt that we're gonna get so lucky this time. There's a lot of factors with all these different things. Merci, sweet thing. I'm gonna slurp this down like nobody's business. Please don't leave. Blech. Oh, honey, was my order all that confusing? I'm not sure how you managed to get this one wrong. Let me give you a bit of advice, part-time job or no, you have to listen to your clientele. Try to keep your little eyes and ears open next time, won't you? That's a good child. Ta-ta. How condescending. Jeez. She wasn't specific, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Mm, it seems the customers have all been taken care of. Good work. Ooh. Why don't you call it a day? Okay. We'll see if we have any rewards. 
And then I wanted to get some medicine for Coco. There's, there's a lot to do. You are really flowing with the coffee today. Cool. Excellent work. Today I'll pay you in superb coffee beans. These are the highest quality I stock. Okay. And any extra awards? We've got a lot of... I think we're we're down to the Brustoids or whatever. Come back and help me again sometime. Wait a moment. I want you to take a little something. A long time ago, a customer showed me a gyro gyroid. And I just couldn't forget about it. So I tried making one of my own. It's not so easy to do, Cool. I think this might be our last one. This could be our final coffee reward. I wasn't expecting this, and I kind of forgot about the fact that we haven't finished this yet. Please continue to do your best. Which one is it? It's a Mega Brewstoy. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to grab some medicine, drop this off at the house, because I've got three others in my side room, and we'll finish up by giving little Coco... A taste of her own medicine. No, we gotta give her. <laughs> we gotta help her out. There's still a lot of people we haven't talked to, but we'll get to them next time. If we don't, then the episode after, because I know Halloween's gonna be full of things, full of events to happen. And then after that, I'll have more news for you guys on the Animal Crossing Direct. There's Muffy hanging out, and uh, and just what that is gonna let us know about this new update. And you know, on top of that, we don't have news of a full Animal Crossing game, like for a console or something, but we do know that we are gonna have, what can I, hmm, I can't throw that slingshot on the ground, but we also don't have room, oh, there we go, okay, I'm gonna throw that, put that away. Uh, so yeah, we, uh, we do have some news about the, uh, the Animal Crossing mobile game, if you guys haven't heard about that, they are making Animal Crossing for mobile. And uh, we don't know too much about that either, just that it got delayed. Same with the Fire Emblem mobile version. And uh, it's supposed to, the, the rumor is that that is also going to link up with New Leaf because they mentioned, well, they did mention it, it's supposed to link up with the Animal Crossing games. And I think they specifically meant New Leaf. But the, uh, the rumor is that the update we're getting in, uh, in a month here is going to add in the functionality for that, so we'll probably know more about that as well. They might even announce the mobile game at the Direct. We'll have to see. Okay, so, uh, so I don't know. I'll actually, I'm going to save the Brewstoid because I think going back into my house and looking at the rooms again would probably be a pretty big ordeal. There's a lot of stuff in there to see. Let's talk to Poppy, and we'll finish by giving Coco some medicine, and hopefully that'll help her out. Welcome back, Adam. You were gone so long that we were all worried. But we should have known our mayor would be back to take care of our town. I'm seriously so glad you're back. It's great to see you. Aw. So Poppy, I think he's a lazy villager, just like Cranston. Speak of the Boyd. And, uh, yeah, we, we have a couple different redundant types of villagers. And I think we might... I don't know if we're missing any. Uh, did Avery moved out. We need a cranky villager or grouchy villager. I think that's the one that we're missing. That's Cranston's house. I always mix them up because they have... Hers is uh, like a straw, kind of bamboo-looking exterior, and Cranston has the fence that's kind of like that. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying seeing New Leaf again. I'm sorry, it's, you know, I, I, I appreciate everybody who's been patient waiting for the series to come back. Ah, my head is spinning, spinning, spinning. I feel dreadful. I've got medicine for you, Coco. Ah, did I hear you have medicine? Here you are. Just don't hurt me. Put it in one of your weird eye holes. There we go. Thank you so much. I feel a little bit better already. Uh, let's escape before she steals our soul. Perfect time of year for that. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time for a super spooky special episode on Halloween. Goodbye.